HMP weapon IRC. I resist your attempts to define me. I laugh at your language that tries to make sense of me. I am metaphor, I am material, I am Humphrey. Welcome to my world. I can help you if you like. I can help you understand what it feels like to be a human being. But unfortunately, I cannot help you understand what it feels like to be a puppet. I hold out my hand to you, my artificial hand, held by the puppeteer. I can feel the puppeteer's hand inside my back. I can smell his sweat. I can sense his touch. I am material. I am paper, cloth, tape, string, polystyrene, and two black beads for eyes. Two black beads for eyes. Two black beads for eyes. I can see you sitting there with your two black beads for eyes. When I first went to the Immigration Removal Centre, the prison was here on this map, I I stared blankly back at the attempts to make theatre where there was so much suffering. I went through the prison gate with no problem. I wasn't searched. Um, I did some jokes uh, with the prison officers on the gate. And when I got into the corridors, some of the men there who they call immigration detainees laughed with me, smiled at me, and frowned at me. And some of them would hold me and used me to tell jokes in foreign languages which I didn't understand. And they would also get hold of me and get me to cruise and move with female puppets. I've never been touched like that before. They left their traces on my body. And I feel I am a witness to their suffering. And even though I don't own my own voice, I feel I have a great deal to say about that experience. Two black beads for eyes. Two black beads for eyes. I can see you sitting over there with your two black beads for eyes. Torn brown paper smile. Torn brown paper smile. I can see you smiling over there with your torn brown, brown paper smile. I ain't going back to jail. I ain't going back to jail. Please don't send me back there again. I don't want to go back to jail. Two black beats for us. Two HMS black Savage. HMS Antigua. HMS Retribution. HMS Liberal. Risk Glory. HMS J. 
Justicia, HMS Argenta, HMS Laurel, HMS Hector. HMS Leviathan, HMS Gary Clyde, HMS Bellicle, HMS Bellinus, HMS. Matt asked me to make a shadow puppet for this lecture performance. Then I made this scorpion man. It describes a detaining detention. Shadow of an immigrant identity. Block the light that shines. Flat surface. Bold form, temporarily on the screen, words difficult to speak. Stand out against the white space of the screen. Trace the edges, form was cut. Narratives of the heroic exile always moving, never still, removed from the screen. Beauty is somewhat diminished. Rest on the floor of the dark, 
and move it across the screen. A reminder of potentiality. Time changes not manipulated. Fecundity, serial packet skin, split pin joints and stiff rods never usually face you. In profile, look to the size of the screen. The shadow made by Anson now. In the hands of an artist, try to make sense of a contradiction to immigration detention. Alive on the screen, there's something missing. The originator is not there, so you have to imagine who once held this puppet. Part of this non story of a puppet show without a narrative. A moving symbol of what is now absent. You must trust the hands of the puppeteer. Once a hero in a story in a prison. Joy to that dark space on Friday morning. Then gone. Leaving the gates of the prison as easy as a bird. Go back into the prison and I won't be searched. Come out again and block the light in the relative freedom of another space. Life as an object is strange. The purpose may appear to perform for you. This potential is always there at the edges of the puppet. How many hands of strangers have I shaken over the years? How do I use my hands in workshops? I welcome the other with my hand, I bridge the face to face with my hand, I congratulate you with high fives, slip me some skin with my brother, my sister. The open hand of the welcome, the closed fist of resistance, the animated hand of the puppeteer. I don't hold my puppet with a clenched fist, but with an expressive touch. I try not to hold the puppet as a weapon, but as a tool, not as a tool, but as an independent autonomous object. Shaking hands with an immigrant detainee about to be deported. Shaking hands with an immigrant detainee after they've played drums to accompany a puppet show. Passing a puppet of a goat around men in a prison yard. I notice I use my hands much more in the context of the Immigration Removal Centre, making puppets and making connections. The hand can help in developing trust and collaborations. The hand can also be forceful and coerce. Property understands when they are pushing an object or other. They try to open space with their hand. Hand to hand, face to face, shoulder to shoulder, dirty hands, clean hands, invisible hands, open hands, closed hands, fists. I hold your hand. I touch your hand. I release your hand. Touch and release.
So, I guess you're wondering why a goat ended up on the periphery of an immigration removal jail. Do I look like a terrorist to you? Do I look like a fucking immigrant to you? Do I? Of course I don't. I used to work in the Navy, me. I used to work for the Navy. They used to do experiments with me. I used to go into chambers and they would experiment on underwater pressures. When I went into the chamber, my head would go a bit funny, a bit wary, and then I'd fall on my ass, and then they'd take loads of readings. And those readings, they would use to help divers around the world. So I saved lives across the globe. Divers who need to know about depth charges and all of that stuff, they'd buy out for that in the Navy. It was all right. I got retired after a while because my head couldn't take it. And I used to be able to pick up radio signals with my horns. I could pick up a Radio 5 live. And, uh, you know, I don't mind the sport and all that, but to tell you what, these days there's some real dickheads on the radio, I'll tell you. Well, anyway, that was it. My time in the Navy was over, so they sent me to Her Majesty's Prison, Hasla, Immigration Removal Centre. And it wasn't that bad, actually. You know, they say the grass is green on the other side. Well, the grass on the inside of a jail is oh so very sweet. I had a girlfriend called Mary, except I couldn't get up too much because they cut me balls off in the Navy. And, well, well, that's what they do, you see. Well, and me mates, well, me mates, they came off a bit worse because some of them, they had their brains chopped out and looked at. But I only had my balls chopped off. Anyway, we're not talking about that. The thing is, in there, it got a little bit boring. Even though I had Mary, so me and Tony, we made Tony, right? What we would do was we would, um, we'd headbutt the alarm system. And then the prison officers would come all running. It'd go crazy. It was such a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then at certain other times, I would, um, well, I, I watched the sport. I'll tell you what, those guys, they were really good at sports. I watched the football, I watched the cricket, and then if I was getting really bored of all that, then I'd just take a shit on the pitch. And then I'd have to stop play and get all health and safety and clean the mess up, all the prison officers will come again. And, well, I looked at some of those guys in there, and they looked back at me, and some of them I thought, you're looking at me a bit funny, mate. You're thinking, go curry. But, well, seriously, right? Some of the blokes in there, they treat them worse than fucking animals, I tell you. There's this one bloke, he tried to climb the perimeter fence. What a bloody mess. And there was this other fella, well, he doesn't speak a language like you could think of as a language. It's more like he screams all day long. Well, they finally close it down. They close down Her Majesty's prison, Hasla Immigration Removal Centre. And well, um, well, I may end up in that gold curry after all. Plastic bag covered in the perimeter fence, flapping intermittently against the fence. You can see so much from up there. You can see the uniforms, all the uniforms down there looking for things to do. The men have gone now. Wait for the wind and rain to break down the form.
plastic bin bag caught within the cold steel of the perimeter fence, shredded and torn intermittently flapping against the fence, looking like a dead bird. The blue sky, the razor wire, they're all gone, the lost ones. All that is left is some of the uniforms looking for things to do, redundant guards of the vulnerable and disenfranchised, wanted to stop witnessing but see so much from up here, waiting for the rain and wind to break down my form. Piece of string is witness, tied to the metal conduit pipe, institutional wall, waiting in anticipation, unravelled and pulled across assembled snare of audience, pulled taut onto the flip chart tied to a metal frame, waiting, tension, close to breaking point, weight of the shadow screen cloth, strength for the limit of holding on, just, shapes, light, and for the project to tell its stories, weight lifted off, snapped off, wound up and put away, his sweat, banged around, and the real tips, living inside the bag. Piece of string is witness, tied to the metal conduit pipe, Institutional war. Waiting anticipation. Unraveled and pulled across assembled. Experience. Pulled taut onto the flip chart tied to metal frame. Waiting tension. Close to breaking point. Weight of the shadow screen cloth. Strength for the limit of holding on. Just. Shapes. Light. Root for the projector telling stories. Weight lifted off. Snapped off. Wound up the killing eye. This hurt. And the right. Other objects slumbering inside the bag. Piece of string is witness. Tied to the metal conduit pipe. Institutional wall. Waiting anticipation. Unravel. Unpaid. Cross ascendant. Snare of audience. Pull taut onto the flip chart tied to metal frame. Waiting. Tension. Close to breaking point. Right to the shadow screen cloth. Strength for the limit. Of holding on. Just. Shapes. Light. Root for the projector telling stories. Weight lifted off. Snapped off. Wound up and put away. He sweat. Banging around. Other objects slumbering inside the bag. Piece of string is witness. Tied to the metal conduit pipe. Institutional wall. Waiting in anticipation. Unraveled and pulled across a single small audience, pulled taut onto the flip chart tied to metal frame, waiting, tension, close to breaking point, right to the shadow screen cloth, strength for the limit of holding on, just shapes, light, room for the projector telling stories, weight lifted off. Wound up and put away. He sweat. Burned it away. Other objects smuggled inside the bag. Piece of string is witness. Tied to the metal conduit pipe. Institutional wall. Waiting in anticipation. Unraveled and pulled across assembled snare of audience. Pulled taut onto the flip chart. Tied to metal frame. Waiting, tension, close to breaking point, right to the shadow screen cloth, strength for the limit of holding on, just, shapes, light, room for the projector telling stories, weight lifted off, snapped off, lined up and put away, his sweat, banging away, other objects smuggling inside the bag. Piece of string is witness. Tied to the metal conduit pipe. Institutional wall. Waiting in anticipation. Unraveled and 
clinic of the Sembin Slurvians. Pulled taut onto the flip chart tied to the metal frame. Waiting, tension, close to breaking point. Weight of the shadow screen cloth. Strength for the limit of holding on. Just shapes, light, group for the projector telling stories. Weight lifted up. Bak dur kilerim. Bu kadar parka da kahve yiyip gönderirsin. Karnım kırıyım. Yeni vardı ve iyi kapı açıp vardı. Yeni oraya yedirdi ne? Nan vardı yedirdi. Yeni kalın. Umgül bana da yedirdi. Ana ayı olsun. Yeni kalın yedirdi. Bana da kahve. Yeni vardı lan. Bağırın buraya yapma. Yeni kere. Urgarın da kare. Adil oru anakana kudun batı. Yeni kere bir çoğu da kare yapma. Nam kuran değil. Kale din kare na. Yeni kere bir çoğu da kare yapma. Yeni kere bir çoğu da kare yapma. என் வாழ்க்கையை அங்கு தொலைத்தனா என் வாழ்க்கையை தேடி இங்கு வந்தே இங்கு வாழலாம் என்று நினைத்த போது எனக்கு இடம் கிடைக்கவில்லை என் சமாதானம் பறிபோனது என் வாழ்க்கை நிலை மாறியது தவறுழைக்காமல் பாதிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறேன் இப்பொழுதும் என் வாழ்க்கையை தேடிக் கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் ஒரு சமாதானமான வாழ்வு கிடைத்தால் I've traveled a long, long way to be here. You know why? To save my life. I was in a forest, a massive one. I have a beautiful family. Yes, really beautiful family. We made our life. The full of joy and happiness until the day came. One fine morning, I wake up. I couldn't see my way. It destroyed completely. I saw my parents the next minute my heart lost to be yes they no more they killed by someone I heard the noise of my enemies on that moment I started to run to save my life I came here where I am now you all can't see where I am now have I done anything wrong? No. Still, I'm searching for my life. I couldn't find my peace. I couldn't find my root. If I have a chance to find my root, I can be like you. I can sing, I can dance like you all. And I can live a peaceful life here. Friends, please find a way for me. Then I can live my life peacefully. Please find a way for me. Please.
They wished for an end to that institution and their wishes came true. Be careful what you wish for. Where are all the men now? Gone to some other larger receiving house for the multitudes processed outside the norm. They wished for an end to that institution but the architecture still remains. The architecture stained with the abject traces of blood, tears, breath, cigarette smoke. The screams of the departed. The shit of those goats still fertilizes that ground.